former England boss Kevin Keegan doesn't watch the Three Lions anymore. Instead of taking in the Slovenia clash, he opted for a different type of game entirely. Kevin Keegan had better things to do than watch England play Slovenia. Pretty much everyone did, to be fair. But the former Three Lions boss is not missing the game he walked out on, apparently for good, nine years ago. Keegan said, didn't even see it, don't ask me about it. My daughter lives in London and arranged a wine tasting, paired with game, partridge and pheasant. I'm just enjoying my life, company days, got grandkids and that's my life. I haven't fallen out of love with it. But I think we definitely had the best years. Do I want to come back? No I'm really not interested. Because the game is not the game I want to be involved in, now. I don't like it. My last experience at Newcastle, I said to my wife if that's the people you have to work for then I'm finished. That's the way I prefer it now. I play a bit of golf, have time to go on holidays, don't know where I'm going to be every Saturday. To be fair, although I spent all my life in football, I finished at 33 and had 6 years with my family, and came back after a phone call with John Hall. But football management was never something I wanted to do anyway and I ended up doing a lot. Fulham was enjoyable. Man City was enjoyable, England not so much. Just as it was sad that Keegan's time with England ended with resignation in a Wembley toilet, so it's a bit upsetting to see a man whose passion for football once burned so bright, now so indifferent. There were offers to return, not too long after he left Newcastle for the second time in September 2008. Keegan said, I've been to a couple of meetings with people, early on, not so much last couple of years. Basically asked them what they thought and what they wanted and what the two clubs and their chairman wanted was unrealistic. Some things are achievable and some aren't. If you think you can achieve something you are more inclined to do it. After what happened at Newcastle, the Geordie Messiah no longer goes to St. James Park and is cautious about commenting on the current situation. He said, I'm just glad Rafa stayed, he gives Newcastle a better chance but I'm not going down that road. But the road which Keegan does still go down is Anfield Road. And it is there, in Jurgen Klopp, that he finds a kindred spirit. Or at least someone with the same enthusiasm he used to have. Keegan speaking at the Aspire for Sport Congress and Exhibition, said, I can't go back to Newcastle because of the circumstances so the only stadiums I can go to are Man City, twice in four years, and I go to Liverpool. I have a better connection with Liverpool now than I ever have. I think Jurgen Klopp is definitely the right guy, he gets Liverpool, he gets it all, they don't want a manager with a pad, they want a him kicking every ball, which he is. I think they like the style of football he plays, yes they are conceding goals and they say it's a bit like my team but at Liverpool, and at Newcastle really, fans want the same thing, they want to see a good game of football and they want the team to have a go. They were used to that, the older ones, from when Bill Shankly came in right through until the premiership was formed. I think Klopp is hand in glove type guy. You can understand what he is saying, he doesn't talk in riddles. He says what he thinks. I hope they have patience with him if it doesn't actually go quite right because he is the right guy. But Keegan has a reality check for any Liverpool fans dreaming of winning the league this season or keeping Philippe Cotteneau at the end of it. Keegan said, I don't think even Jurgen Klopp thinks that, winning the Premier League this year, or even the most optimistic fan. I think top four is feasible again. They're a work in progress. I don't see why Cutno should be any different to Suarez. He had three years left and he still went. But the romantic and Keegan still thinks an attacking philosophy can be a winning one and believes Liverpool are not alone in having problems in defence. Keegan said, there are a lot of teams in the Premier League struggling in defence. All the rules have been changed to suit attackers, yellow cards, red cards. It's no fun being a defender. If a defender misses three tackles he's off so it's no wonder they are cautious. I don't think Manchester City are great defensively. I don't think Manchester United are great defensively. Or Chelsea. It's not just a Liverpool problem, 
it's a general problem because of the way football is being played. Everything is built for teams to go forward, which is great. Who shows highlights of defending? You don't set out to play gung-ho football. But if your players are better going that way than defending, then it's about getting your right or left back to go forward. You take a chance that if you have good enough players and keep enough of the ball, you are going to win matches. The only way you can play swashbuckling football is if you have the players. I didn't play that football when Newcastle were bottom of the second division. I started to look and change and move people around from forward to center back. People remember not winning the league but there was a lot more to Newcastle in four and a half years than that. Buying, Andy Cole, Rob Lee, Janola, it was a good story and they are now trying to live with that expectation at Newcastle and it's not going to be easy. But Keegan, a man once so consumed by football you feared for his health, life is much easier without it.